Thank you so very much for tuning into this podcast. I just need 30 seconds, maybe possibly 40 of, of your time. We've gotten two guests on this podcast so far, and I really do appreciate all the like and the love and the support and all the comments and subscriptions and and everything that you guys have possibly done for, for this podcast and for me. Uh, it, it really does mean a lot to me. And uh, we're, I'm working on my third guest now, so hopefully someone will get back to us soon. If you have any contacts you'd like to see on there that you know or whatever just send them my way because i'm looking for gamers that are really looking to have a real conversation not 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 only to get to know them but to also just about like the games that they play and the games that we play as a whole so again the the real goal of this podcast is like a real difference uh and you'll you'll see from this episode as to why we really need a difference there's there's uh there's a lot of control go- going on and I'm, and I'm looking to really shake up the the industry and this this is one way to do it uh so the more attention we get the more of a difference the more of an impact we can actually make so you know and this why limit our, ourselves to 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 the gaming mar- market when we can do you know the sky's the limit so Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And if you've not already subscribed, please do so. And uh, let's let's get back to the podcast. So today's podcast episode is going to be about the Xbox Enforcement Strike System. Okay, I have done some research prior to this episode, and I was curious because I actually think I I got banned a while ago. I was a victim of this enforcement system, probably when it, when they first really put it in to the system. I don't think that I, I think now it's just getting attention, but I think it's been there for a while. I sent a message to somebody on Gears of War. Well, it wasn't really on Gears of War. It was just on Xbox. It was because of the game Gears of War Horde. He was a pilot, which was like a super powerful class that was meant to kill enemies. And I was a builder. So I was supposed to be building barriers and sentry guns or whatever else. I was doing that, but he started building stuff. Because he was like, you suck. You don't know how to, how to build. Whatever. And I was like, but you're a pilot. You're supposed to be the one killing the enemy. So if we lose, it's because you're not doing your job. Like I'm just building barriers to stop them from coming into the base. Like that's my job. So regardless of that, I said something along the lines of you're not very good. You're the strongest class in the game and you're building barriers. I don't understand why you like you suck. And I'm, and I'm a higher level than you are or whatever I said. And I think he might've reported my comment or something. And then I got banned from talking for a week like I couldn't talk to anyone in party chat I couldn't talk to anyone on in like in in the game so I did some research prior to this and I kind of wanted to see like what would actually get you banned and whatever else and I I found something that was kind of interesting that's actually from xboxsupport.com or support.xbox.com so I, I, I want you to see this what causes an xbox enforcement action when we issue an enforcement action, is not necessarily because you personally did something wrong, but because the profile was used to commit a violation, even if you weren't home or holding the controller when the activity occurred. What? I don't know about you, but that should kind of scare you a little bit, because I don't even know what that means. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, seriously, what does that even mean? I, I, I couldn't... I, I'm like, I'm actually kind of confused... On what that actually means. Because I'm not even at my Xbox or holding my controller when the activity occurred. Is there like more information on this? Let, 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 let me open this up in a new tab to see if there's actually really like a drill down information about this. Straightforward. However, we know uh, some are complex and you may not be sec- uh, sure how it affects your... Uh, to clear up the confusion, my, as we've answered some of the qu- common questions... What are strikes? That's pretty easy. What happens to my subscription is the account is permanently banned. I mean, you pretty much are done. Uh, what happens to my games if my account is permanently banned? I'm looking. I, I want to know how we actually get to the ban. Like, I want to know what I have to do to get banned. I, I'm not going to do the things. I'm trying to avoid those things. But, like, if I, if I call somebody a fucking idiot on... Like, on Xbox, am I going to get banned for it? Like, if I say it right now and, like, you know, they're listening to me, or am I going to get banned on Xbox? Like, I'm, 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 that that one paragraph confused the shit out of me. Am, am, I, am I just... If I go out and I curse somebody out when I'm driving, am I going to get banned from Xbox now? Like, what the fuck? If I have the Xbox app on my phone? <laughs> I know I'm, like, speculating and I'm being a little bit crazy, but, like... At the same time, some of these really are not very... I'll, I'll, let's go back to it. 
the enforcement ban on Xbox, how long is it? I, there's 24 hours, se seven days, and 14 days, and then per permanent. I think actually there's one thing here where it says Xbox new enforcement strike system scales up to one year bans. So you can get up to a year ban uh, if you're not careful. But I think I've gotten a seven day ban before. Maybe it was 24 hours. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was seven days for whatever I did. I don't really know what I did. They didn't. They didn't tell me what I did either, which is another thing that I don't like about these ban systems is that they don't tell you exactly what they did. Like I've been banned on, um, I've been banned on YouTube before. Not like the, my profile, but like I've been banned, I believe, from posting. I've also been banned on TikTok a few times, and like nobody tells me anything. No, like there is no system that tells me what I did wrong or what I did right. So it's like I'm confused as shit. As to why, I don't know. I'm just, I'm like, I'm, I'm, it pisses me off that like this, this stuff is, is existing right, right now. But let's, let's get back to it real, real quick. How, how long is the enforcement ban? Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Um, how do I appeal enforcement bans? The enforcement action qualifies for case review. You can select submit and appeal to receive more info from a, from Xbox safety. After you've completed the form, select submit. Um, there's a couple in here. Let's see. Um, let me go back to here. How do you see who reported you? Not at all. Your privacy and safety are important to us. I <laughs> never know who reported them. Um, can Xbox be any for swearing? Who users are swearing videos they upload using the Xbox One's upload uh, studio are being handed... 24 hour bans from the application. So I can't even, I can't even curse if I'm uploading something to the, you know, actually that actually brings me back. I actually think I posted something. I forgot. I think it might've been a, a, a uh, it might've been something against call of duty or it might've been some, I forgot exactly what the game was, but I like, I posted something either about Microsoft about pretty much about like Gears of War or about Call of Duty. I forgot exactly what game. It was it was a while ago. And they they banned me from posting on the feed, like the Xbox feed for like 24 hours. And they deleted my post. But it was like showing it was showcasing a glitch or something along those lines that they haven't fixed. It's been like months and they haven't fixed it. And then like I got banned for that. And I'm like, see, that's that's where I start to get a little bit scared. Is where we we start to, the the they start to they start to control what you're able to see and what not to see, and then now it becomes what you're able to say and not say. So this is what I've been talking about for a long time. I know I sound like a, a conspiracy theorist, and I don't want to sound like that, but I'm giving real life experience and real life knowledge and real life examples of what's happening to me to prove my point of what I've been saying. So the control, especially since Microsoft just bought Activision or is acquiring Activision, like this stuff is going to get even worse. So unless Activision has good intentions, like we, we might be looking at a very bad next like 10, 20 years. Like I can tell you right now, as I've said in many other podcasts, this game pass once, and actually Adam Conover talked about this too. This Game Pass and any PlayStation Game Pass stuff that they have, once the monopoly is set in place where the majority of companies and games and whatever are owned by Microsoft or whatever, that Game Pass is going to go from like a dollar a month. It's actually gone up, but it's going to go from a dollar a month, which is which which they just offered me something. I started a whole new uh, uh, I started a whole new profile to do massive gaming, so I could like do some promotions while I'm playing, and. <clears throat> They offered me a dollar to start for 14 days. It used to be like a month or a year they used to give you a dollar. It was a dollar for like a year, and you could cancel it at any time. But then it was like, I think, ten ninety nine after that. Then it went up to 14 something. Now it's at like sixteen ninety nine, which which after tax, it's like 18 something. So I can tell you right now that Game Pass, once they're solidified, once they've pretty much chewed up all the all the competition, this will happen for all the platforms. Once they once they chew up all the competition that game pass and anything else is going to go up to like like $50 a month and we're going to pay it because guess what you want to play games right that's why i don't want to be loyal to any to any plat platform because i feel like steam is pretty much loyal to themselves microsoft is loyal to themselves playstation's the same way 
Apple, Android. Like, there's going to be... there the, the problem that we're encountering, especially with capitalism, the real issue that no one's really talking about is the, is the control that they have over the market. Now, Microsoft has the control over the console market for Microsoft. Like, there's no competition for an Xbox, if you think about it. There is not a single piece of competition for Xbox. You could say PlayStation, but that's not real. Like, the people that love PlayStation are going to go with PlayStation. They're not going to switch to Xbox. Unless, you know, this whole a this whole acquisition of, of Activision causes them to switch. But the people that are super loyal to PlayStation are going to stick with PlayStation. You're not going to change their mind at all. They could give you a fucking shit, a shit PlayStation that doesn't work at all. Like, doesn't start. And people will be like, you know what? It's still better than the Xbox. And the Xbox works. That's my point. Is that no matter what... The same the same argument can be made. If they if they give us a shit Xbox that doesn't work at all, the people that are loyal to Xbox will stay will stay with Xbox and keep defending them to 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 the end. And that's the that's the thing that these pro, that propaganda and everything has caused for us is that we're loyal we're blindly loyal to somebody without looking at the real facts. Somebody, some company doesn't matter what the thing is. That's the problem that we're encountering right now. Okay, and like. The fact that I can swear on videos and then and then upload it to the Xbox One studio and get a ban for it is crazy to me. Or up to the feed. That's insane to me. Why can that even happen? Why is it a thing? So, the control that they're going to have is going to be insane. And that's what I want you to know going into this. Like, there's tons of talks about this. And, I, and I, I'm not trying to sound like a conspiracy theorist. But again, I'm seeing these things unravel right in front of my eyes. So I'm just trying to warn you of these things before they happen, okay? We need somebody, a small company, a person, what whatever, to come into this game, give us a cloud gaming platform like Game Pass and have it be working for all the consoles so that that shakes up the entire market. The problem that we're in, that we're experiencing in, in a nutshell right now is that large corporations are buying up other small companies and corporations and then they have a monopoly over everything. Nestle's the one of the biggest one for 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 food. You think you're gonna boycott their stuff? They most likely have the company that you're gonna buy your stuff from. Okay, plain and simple. It's just it's just tough. It's tough to it's tough to really sit by and watch this stuff ha happen. Well, I'm not really sitting by and watching it happen. I'm actually making real change. So the people that have actually watched this far into the podcast, I'm assuring you that I'm doing the change. I'm making a cloud gaming plat platform. I'm trying to do that. Now, whether it is successful or not, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I don't ever want to sell it because I don't want the issue that we're having right now. Like, we need somebody, we need people, we need companies, we need visionaries to come in, make the change, and not, and go through the struggle and not fucking sell their company to somebody just for some quick money. That We need competition. That's what we need. And that's, that's the biggest thing. Like we need competition and more than just two companies or three companies. We'd like, we need like five or six to keep the economy pretty much stable. Like the reason why everything is going up, why food is so expensive is because of all the monopolies that, that are happening or oligopolies, wh whatever they're called at this point. That's the reason why we have all this inflation and all this other stuff. Like, you know, there's many different factors, but that's one of the major reasons is because there's too many people. There's, there's just a small amount of corporations controlling the economy right now. And that's, that's a problem. So in case you in case you're wondering, um, can you appeal a console ban? That's, these are all questions that, that, that have been asked. If you send a one or two, so or two, probably not, but if you were to try spamming reports about someone or multiple people, then you receive a ban for false reports. Wow. Nice. Okay. That's nice. How do I know if I got, if Xbox banned someone I, I reported? Um, oh, look at that. There's a video. Why did I get permanently banned from Xbox? Ban your mic. For example, if we detect abusive communications over voice or text messages, your communication pri 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 privileges may be revoked for a dirt. Wow. If we detect abusive communications over voice or text messages, your communication privileges may be revoked for a determined time. So, um, <clears throat> this is probably gonna be done with AI. Just, just FYI. So, the other thing that I'm not really uh, too keen on is I think they're gonna be implementing AI to do a lot of this stuff too. So they're gonna be able to get your your voice, you know, your voice 
uh, co- conversations with friends, with you know pe- pe- people in parties, with people in game chat. Uh, and they're going to be able to ban you from Xbox Live and whatever else. But um, I don't talk very often. So that's like another thing too. I usually just scream to myself. I also don't really scream that much anymore as I realize it's just not, it's not really worth the stress to scream in a video game anymore. Uh, I know I sound like an adult, but you know, it's true. You know, it really isn't worth the time. It really isn't worth the energy to just start to scream at people, you know? And <clears throat> for those of the, for, for those of the streamers that do it, you know, it, it just, it really just, it really just drains you, you know? Like, I can tell you Dr. Disrespect and, you know, even Tim and, you know, Nick and whatever, like they're probably seeing their doctors and their doctors are like, dude, you got to chill. You know, especially Tim, Tim, Tim openly talks about that kind of stuff where, you know, he's, he's like, yeah, my doctor said I got to stop screaming. It's like, yeah, I mean, it, it gets to you after a while, you know, it gets to, to your stress levels. Like now that I'm playing, I'll be playing, um, you know, call of duty or whatever, or even like gears of war or horde. And, I just, if people are doing their job or their responsibilities, I either just, I'll just play my game. And if we lose, we lose. If we don't, we don't, you know what I mean? Like, but normally I could predict when we're going to lose. Cause I've been playing for so long. That's like, I know exactly when we're going to lose, especially in gears of war. I know exactly when we're going to lose. Like if you're a, a demolition, which is like one of the strongest classes in the, in the, in the game or a pilot or, or whatever, if you're our powerhouse class that needs to be killing things and you're building barriers, like we're going to lose hundred percent. We're losing. There's no doubt in my mind, especially if there's a builder. Why the fuck are you like, I am, if I'm the builder, it's like, I'm not the powerhouse class. I'm not meant to kill things like in this, in gears of war five, they actually made it so, um, <clears throat> they made it so that you're not dependent on builders. That's, that's what they made it as. So anyone can, can, can build. But you have to have a powerhouse class in the game to to kill everything. If you don't, you're gonna lose. It's just that simple. So, you know that's uh, that's really that's really the uh, the the main gist gist of it. But I I personally think that this is gonna be this is gonna be a form of control that's gonna be that's it's gonna get kind of, kind of crazy. I, I I you know actually what where where are we at right now? We're at 15 minutes. I. I've been trying, I'm, I'm going to try, which I've been trying to kind of cut down these episodes into more, more substance than anything else. I realize sometimes I kind of talk in circles, which is what I'm trying not to do. Uh, so if I do that, then I apologize, but I'm, I'm working because I go back and I watch these and I make sure that, you know, I'm actually talking about real stuff and I'm not just talking in circles. I realized like, obviously the first episode I ever, you know, made was like me talking in circles for like 30 minutes, but Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it original and keep it fresh. So these episodes might be a little bit shorter. Uh, I might actually also cut out some 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 parts. But I think this episode, I think I didn't really talk in circles very much. Um, but let, let me let, let me take what one more look here and let me see if uh, I can find anything else that really, you know, is more helpful for you guys to, um, to kind of see. Actually, I I did have this open before, so. Uh, this is all again off of support.xbox.com. Some enforcement actions may, may have a serious strike that apply to your account. These strikes have increasing risk restrictions and duration periods for each enforcement action that you receive. You can review your strikes when viewing the enforcement page. Keep reading for more info about strikes for more general info about Xbox enforcement actions. Visit Xbox, blah, blah, blah. The customer support can can assist cannot assist with the suspensions or enforcement actions if, if you need assistance with an active enforcement action if it may qualify for the case review process to learn more go to blah blah blah. Um, what are strikes? Pretty pretty easy. Ha- what happens if a maximum number of strikes are reached? You're probably gonna get banned. What 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 does the let's actually see maximum number of strikes you can receive is eight. If you receive eight strikes, your account won't be able to use these features such as messaging, party chat, multiplayer, and other social features for for a year. Okay. <clears throat> During this time, you can still sign to your Xbox pro- profile, use certain apps, make purchases, and play games, but that don't require Xbox services. What does expiration mean? When viewing your enforcements, you may see an expiration status for the strikes that have been applied to your account. When a strike has expired, it won't count towards your total number of strikes. Okay. Uh, you have zero strikes, but it's still permanently suspended. Why? Uh, that's interesting. If a behavior de- demonstrated on, on an account is egregious a permanent suspension may be issued regardless of the number of strikes on an account we don't take permanent bans lightly these types of suspensions are only issued after a thorough investigation determines what a severe violation of our microsoft services agreement and community standards for xbox has occurred on the service okay uh what happens when strikes appeal is approved okay so, I mean, these are pretty standard questions. I'm not, my, I was looking for like how, like how to do 
like how these enforcements actually works. I did hear something on a uh, TikTok vi video where they said that like pretty much they're going to be like monitoring your voice and whatever else, and that's that scares me because it's like you could say you could be talking to like your wife or something, and you could say something mean, and like not even like to her, but like somebody else in real life, and like they could ban you. You know what I mean? That can be taken out out of context. Um, that's like a freak scenario, but that's the way my my mind works. Um, you know, somebody pisses you off in real life, you could just be like, you know, that fucking asshole, blah blah blah, and then you know you're get you're getting all of a sudden you're getting you're getting a strike for for you know misconduct on Call of Duty or whatever. You know, so it it just it just makes me it makes me question a lot of the things that that are going to happen here. Uh, which also makes me kind of want to go away from Xbox. Unless they give me a free Xbox, then I'll be okay with that. I won't mind it. But, you know, I I, I think we'll just leave it there. I, I think this whole thing is, um, is going to be a good thing, but also a bad thing if not done properly. So... Uh, if you've watched this far, you know, just, just subscribe. I mean, if you have watched this far, let's be honest, why not subscribe at this point? You know, you've, you've seen it. You've seen this pretty much all the way through. So, 